All right, so Capricorn, we're going to have a look at what's going to come up for you. And now keep in mind that this will not resonate for every single Capricorn. If you'd like a personal reading, I'll leave that description down below. Another thing you can do is we also have a website where things are for sale, things are for auction. There's gems, there's crystals, there's shirts, there's jewelry, and so on. Link to that will be in the description down below for you to go ahead and check out. Okay. Capricorn, you have a lot of spirits around you. Okay. A lot of protective spirits. These, these spirits can be, you know, just spirits, like spirit guides. These spirits can be like people that passed on, you know, so on. Capricorn, you are really like planning ahead for the future here. Things that you've, what it feels like is things that you've set out there, you know, things that you've built, right? That you've, um, you know, invested into. That's coming in. Your ships are coming in here, at Capricorn. And it feels like you're in this energy of really feeling good about yourself, really feeling confident. Now, splitting the deck, we have the Three of Wands with the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands can be fire, so I don't know if you have fire placements or a fire sign around you. Either way. We got a reunion with someone here. Okay, so, we have the world, we have the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Wands, we have the Three of Cups, we have the Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. We have the moon, which can be seen as Cancer. Three of Pentacles. We have the Princess of Cups, which is the Page of Cups. These can be like a child energy for someone younger. We have the Hangman. Ten of Cups. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Tower, which is Scorpio. We have the Seven of Wands. Five of Swords. Knight of Wands. The Fool, which can be seen as Aries, and the Death card, which is also Scorpio here. Okay, so Capricorn, there is definitely a reunion, especially if you've been wishing for that with someone there. I definitely do see that happening. Scorpio, Aries, Cancer. I also see a lot of success coming into your life. Like I said, a lot of things that you've been working towards, a lot of things that you've been planning ahead for the future, that coming in here. Big Ten of Pentacles happening, you getting recognized, Three of Pentacles, okay? Your two Tens are here, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. There's a lot of completion. Alright, I feel like you've been through a lot here, Capricorn, with that Nine of Wands. Honestly, your wish is coming true. Everything you've been wanting in your life is coming into your life. And it comes in with this tower, okay? Very unexpectedly, like, bam, the moon. You don't see this coming. So let's see some messages and advice for you. Okay. 
Number four with Parad Paradigm Shift. I'm not exactly <laughs> sure on the pronunciation here, but you get the point here. Let's have a look at this card here. You are undergoing a radical growth in your belief systems. Now is the time to challenge old attitudes and question previous expectations. You are in an extraordinary time. Great leaps forward can be made in a moment. The world you thought you knew suddenly break can suddenly break open and a new world become your reality. Ooh, Capricorn. Things are shifting in your life, okay? That world death card the tower you are shifting all right yeah definitely a big shift happening in Capricorn and now is the time to really just go for it okay you've already went for it you're getting rewards for that and there's this big growth okay of yourself here So, oh, look at that. So we have Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic Teacher. We have Mintak in. Longing for home. Belonging. The original light workers. So that is you, Capricorn. Original light workers. And then you have this mystic. Okay? That is both you. So not everyone is like you. Because not everyone is this. We have protection. Call back your power. Cut the cords. Soul retrieval. You are being protected here, Capricorn. Break the chain. Ancestral patterns. Healing. Rewriting the future. Okay, look at that, Capricorn. You're breaking chains here. What once made you feel stuck, what once, you know, what made you feel trapped that's being broken free? You're going to the shift here, Capricorn, okay, towards all of this. Number 38, Forest Frolic Maiden. I acknowledge my inner child and open my heart to the joy she brings. Okay. Definitely does feel like that. Number 39, Flames of Wisdom, Crone. I am open to all of life's wisdom and share it with gratitude. So once again, Capricorn, this is you. Okay. You are that advanced spiritual soul here. Okay. You've lived many lifetimes. You were one of the original light workers. Here on Earth. Number 20 with Throat Chakra. I speak my truth in encouraging others to speak theirs. So Throat Chakra here. You're going to be working with that more Capricorn. Alright, that is Chakra of Communication, of Expression there. Now, there's um, Frequencies. I can help you work with that here on YouTube. There's Gems I can hear that can help you with that. Which I do sell Gems for that. Now, number 29 with Balance. Look how many 3s and 9s here. 3s, 9s, and 2s. I understand and embrace the opposing forces in life and that bring about balance. You're becoming more balanced, Capricorn. Number 21, Seraph of 963 hertz. 963 hertz, Capricorn. I want you to look up that frequency because that is quite important. Practice connecting to to the joy that is always deep within you. Pay attention to what brings you exquisite delight. If you don't know what that is, you're guided to experiment and explore. Connecting to the joyful capacity of your heart 
will heal so much negativity and uncertainty. Let your heart relax. Allow the spiritual grace that wishes to reorder your life to manifest its miracle, miraculous magic. Okay, look at that. Capricorn. This whole reading is about what makes you happy. Okay? Shifting. Things are shifting. You're moving towards what's making you happy. Even things that... Um, things are changing on what made you happy. Okay? Where's this frequency? It says this unlocks... This frequency unlocks the radiant luminosity of your light body. This body of light is the inner essence of your physical structure and yet is not constrained by it. Your light body is your internal, internal interface between the spiritual plane and the physical plane. It is where the healing, bliss, and inspiration flow in, unimpeded. The higher worlds transmit conscious raising light codes directly into your body of light, affirming your original soul note and preventing the ego from obstructing your spiritual light so that you can manifest your most authentic life path. Okay, so, Capricorn, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, subscribe. Bye, guys.